to Miami. It is the USA vlog, the first Josh Baker tour here. Friday, I am playing at Floyd, which is owned by the same people as Space, and Saturday, I'm going to Atlanta. It's how exciting. We arrived last night after a 12 hour or so flight via Paris. It was long, but all right. Got here, I got a decent sleep, and this morning I woke up very early, as you all know, that my sleeping uh, habit slash pattern uh, in the UK means I get up at like fucking five, and it's five hours behind here. So I actually slept till four, which is a pretty good result. Then went to 7-Eleven and got coffee, which is my new favorite place, as soon as you can get coffee at 4.30 in the morning. Then ran along the coastal kind of path, did a little 10K, sweated potentially uh, more than I ever have on a run. And now we are off to find a gym to get a pump in. I've observed that I've slacked a bit on the weight training recently, just because I've been getting more into running and I've ran more first than lifting weights because I used to always lift weights first. And I know that whichever session I do first tends to be the better one. However, that's not the right mindset to have. So yeah, I'm gonna pump some weights now. And then we've got four days in America, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, ah, five days, but we lose one day for traveling really. We're back on Monday. So hopefully provide some entertaining uh, content for you all guys and have some fun. So yeah, fingers crossed we find a gym and get a good workout and then go and see what's going on in Miami. So guys, we've got no tripods. We've got the camera props up onto some incline bench. I've not benched this way in ages. So it's two plates. I don't know what that is in cages, it's around 100. So we'll see if we've got it or not. We'll see if we've got it. Let's go. So training is done, post-workout meal. We've got salmon, eggs and avocado. It was a decent session, tops were off. Um, pumped some weights, as you saw, hit the two plate bench, and now we're gonna refuel. This looks fucking good. So I'm sticking to my somewhat healthy eating glass here. But I'm not gonna bore you with any uh, food content just yet. So we're gonna keep this one short and sweet. But we're gonna head back after this, have a shower, and then decide what to do. Not too sure yet. 19,500 steps, and it is 10.22. That's how you do it. So we're gonna walk to Whole Foods now. We'll just have a little walk around the kind of beach side. We had to get a picture for Instagram for Floyd to run a sponsor on, so that was good fun. Always trying to get a picture. Like when you need to get a picture, it's always harder than just getting a picture. So we got a few, uh, a few decent ones. Uh, but yeah, we're near Whole Foods now. I've always wanted to get Whole Foods, I've never been. I know it's the home of Whole Foods and hopefully find some healthy, nice, nutritious food. Something we can have for lunch, something we can have now. I'm already pretty peckish and then I think we'll chill for a few hours because I'm getting pretty exhausted. First pick up from Whole Foods, first time being here. I'm impressed, look at all these fake milks. They're fucking bad for you guys, but look at the options. Beautiful, if I was still into fake milk. Let's see what um, real milk we've got. So dudes, we're off for dinner. We're going to a place called Bodega, a Mexican that got recommended. Uh, we're in the best, the linen pants, and the burgers. It's still fucking roasting out there. So yeah, getting over there, and we'll walk back. It's like a 26 minute walk. But we're doing pretty good. It's um, it's 5:25. What's a full day? Obviously, run, trained. Uh, eating pretty good, so we are, I would say, on track for a gelato or some post uh, meal. And yeah, good first day in America, I loved it. We loved it. Well, well done. There will be a bit of food and a bit of Good son. So here's my bowl. I've got chicken, tomato, onion, guacamole, some cauliflower rice under there. What have you got? Black bean, red onion, jalapenos and cheese. Good shit, they've got a taco each. So 
give it a blast. Good morning guys, welcome to day two in Miami. I have done a 10k this morning, now we're sat, about to have a coffee. Jake's gone for a nitro cold brew, which looks like this. I'm not sure what the difference between a nitro cold brew and a cold brew is, but the word nitro um, is getting me caffeinated before I've even tried it. Uh, it looks pretty heavy. The plan now is the same as yesterday. We're gonna go and hit some weights in the same gym. I sweated a lot this morning. It was 28 degrees, but said it felt like 32. And it was 83% humidity or something like that. So I was sweating buckets about 7K. I tried to go and find a shop, I couldn't. Started to get a bit uh, lightheaded and whatnot because literally every pore on my body was sweating so bad. Um, so yeah, plan today is mooch around here, do the workout, and then I want to go and find some new runners from Hoka to Hoka shop because the new balance that I've been wearing on my runs while I'm in here, I'm gonna give me blisters. I thought I'd uh, got over that and wore them in, but clearly not. So we're gonna go Hoka as well after the workout, we'll have to have eaten breakfast, and then we're changing hotels. We're going downtown, staying near Space and Floyd, because that's what we're playing on Friday. So tomorrow night, so yeah, we're going to move down there probably around lunchtime after I've had breakfast and just moved around and yeah, see what's in store again. It's pretty weird here in the mornings. It's always quite cloudy and overcast um, and then gets nice as the day goes on. Got a decent tan last night. I'm still buzzing with that Mexican. Unreal. So guys, back in the gym, hitting a pull session. Usually I start with pull-ups, weighted ones, but as Jake behind the camera, he's not as good at pull-ups. We're going to do lap pull-down with this mag grip, which I really like. So, do one or two warm-up sets, two heavy sets, one back-off set, then hit some rows. I can't find what we're looking for, guys. So guys, we're trying these, uh, the RD. Max Sixes, saw them on Instagram yesterday by a guy who's on a seven year run streak, he's run every day, he's obviously sponsored by Hoka. And yeah, he did like a promo bit of these. Um, I think they're fairly quick shoes, but they've not got a plate in them, so that was my goal, not to get a pair without a plate in because the plate ones make you want to just run really fast. These feel good. I didn't bring any socks, so I buy, buy some more. Aesthetically, they look cool. I like them. The only other pair I'm thinking is the Bondi ones, but I think these might be better. Because, you know, easy run the boring and all that. You still want a bit of pace, and these definitely will give me some pace. So, folks, what do you reckon? The Max 6s or the Bondi's? I can tell you now that we're going to go for the Max 6s purely because. These are actually comfier, but they're a bit clunky, and I've kind of found that now my strength in my legs, my gait's getting better, things like that, my form's much stronger, I don't need as much support, so I think these make me want to run further and run more, and that's the goal. So I think we're past needing something with that much support, he says I'm probably injured <coughs> tomorrow, but yeah. We're gonna go for the Max 6s. Yeah. We're gonna go for the Max 6s. Yeah. So, guys, the love day. We are now in the downtown part of Miami, I believe. We've changed hotels. This is where we'll be for the remainder of our time here. This is just around the corner from Space and Floyd. Floyd and Space joined together. Um, just got some food, we'll have to walk around, check it out. The weather is kind of shit. We were just going to sunbed this afternoon, but not too sure what we'll do now. It's currently 2.20 p.m. And we know for dinner again pretty early, around like 5, 45, 6. So I reckon it's going to be a relaxing afternoon, maybe go in the sauna, we'll see. Yeah, downtown Miami, we're here. Cheers, guys. That's my one sip of, sip of beer of the day. 
Um, we are in a Peruvian restaurant, recommended it by a friend, and it looks good. Ordered a dish I've never heard of in my life. This afternoon we've just been chilling, uh, did some stretching in the gym. The weather's been pretty shit actually, so we didn't do much. Uh, but yeah, food's on the way. Definitely some food reviews today, because some new uh, experience in this cool restaurant. So, we'll let you know how it goes. Tuna ceviche, guys. It's raw tuna. I think it's cooked with like a lemon or something. Someone below can comment and tell me what actually it is. Pretty raw tuna. Avocado on. Good, 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 yeah. This restaurant's Peruvian. Peru Peruvian cuisine is not my uh, familiarity, but this is some beef. It's almost like a Chinese dish, like you get from Chinese. Um, some kind of soy sauce, rice, meat, and some veg. Looks quite calorific, so I'm going to try and avoid some carbohydrates. Uh, I'll eat all the meat. So we got on. Tastes good so far. Vibe's not here, vibe's not the same in here guys. I'll fill you in shortly, but polished, air conned, too soft in here. Too soft in here, get me back to them iron plates. Subway foot long cookie, fucking sign me right up. Good morning guys, it's Friday. We are downtown Miami. We moved hotels yesterday and yeah, woke up at a hotel called the Gabriel. Went for a 5K, got my daily miles in, ended up enjoying a Gatorade and some dried mango in front of the Miami Heat Stadium, which is pretty cool. And then we trained in the hotel gym. And just some observations this morning, some thoughts, is how important environment is. Went to train in the hotel gym, aircon, gyms that are tidy, new machines, polished almost what you describe as perfect whereas last two days as you've seen no air con iron plates absolute mess tops are off just more of a shit show you describe and the last two days were two of the best weightlifting sessions i've had maybe in like a year today one of the fucking worst well not even one of the worst one of the absolute average sessions that you get when you're in an average environment but it's quite deceiving because you think on paper, oh, that's way better. It's tidier, it's cleaner. Um, but yeah, being in that environment made me have a pretty average session. That's where I trained every day, all the time. I wouldn't even enjoy training. So if you are trying to build new habits or change bad ones, you need to look around you and think, can I make where I am doing this thing either disappear, completely change, make it improve and that kind of stuff. So just some thoughts for you today. And yeah, the session wasn't the best. I did a 5k before it. We're now just getting some steps in to, yeah, just enjoy it, I guess. We're not even to do anything, but just enjoy being here. Then we're going to tuck in some breakfast. And then at 10.30 a.m., we're meeting my America agent, Jack, from Bullet. To talk about the plans for this year. So America now feels quite highly agenda since being here. I definitely think that... I like it, I like it, there's something in the air. I mean, I'm not even played yet, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna make our plans clear with each other for the rest of the year in regards to what we wanna do here. And then most likely chill this afternoon. Playing tonight at 2.30 a.m. at Floyd. We're going for dinner at 9 p.m. And you guys know me by now, I need my sleep. So I reckon from like 2 p.m. I'll be trying to relax, have some rest. And then we're going for dinner at 9. So who knows how I'm gonna get my sleep in, but we'll figure it out somehow. And then tomorrow at 2 p.m. we go to Atlanta. New location a lot, guys. We're at Bra Brackle, Bracknell Shopping Centre. See if there's any drip, any more vests for me to wear. It's vest only season, so see what we can find. Some raunchy vests, guys. Some raunchy fucking vests. We're digging through the, uh, the shelves. It's always hard to find fresh ones, man. Especially the cheap ones, like, you just go out of shape. See these, they're not too long. Three vests, guys. Pretty successful little trip, that. I came to get some vests. Um, it's always hard to find, you know, because you want them to be simple, but at the same time, stylish. I would assume most of the watchers probably don't like vests, so. That's the one. Yeah. The only one oh. good. Bacon. <laughs> okay, good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. 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 Hey, excuse me, Josh, nice to meet you.
So guys, weigh in for spicy margarita, first alcoholic drink of the week. Not drank in six days, fucking hell, going cold turkey. Um, yeah, so the party's tonight. Ready for a nice dinner with some of the crew and then we'll try and get some hours in. I think it's half 8 p.m. So late for me, extremely late. Do we have everyone for dinner at this time in my life? So we've got a bit of time after it, we'll see. I'm on at 2.30. We saw Prunk before, which I've seen in the clip. He then asked me on WhatsApp about half an hour ago, do you want to go back to back with him at Space at 10 a.m.? The answer deep down is no, unfortunately, because of the travel. And here you can see some nice spicy margaritas. On the way to Floyd for the Josh Baker USA debut, we went for some lovely food before at a Italian restaurant. Um, had a few oysters, a bit of scallops, a bit of everything. Um, Jake behind the camera was extremely tired, went back, he had to lie down. I, I've got energy, man. Energy because I'm high on life. Uh, I had some caffeine, ready to go. It's half past one in the morning and I've not, I put an Instagram story up like 20 hours ago, which shows how long I'm gonna wait for. Not really had a nap. Uh, I've had a lie down and relaxation. Uh, but we're running on uh, adrenaline, caffeine and vibes. So yeah, on an hour, apparently this is sold really well compared to other parties. One of the best selling events they've had uh, for this party in Floyd. So people are ready to hear me play my thing, so I'm excited. Wait for the road now to take us to the hotel. We'll definitely get some rest and then do the last blast and then it's home tomorrow. So yeah, should be a good one.
So guys, the US tour is about to come to an end. Atlanta last night was fun. It was this kind of disused warehouse vibe. They put a system in, um, decks on ground level, pretty raw. People seem to enjoy it. There's a, quite the contrast between a crowd in Atlanta and a crowd in Miami, obviously, culturally um, and whatnot. I think last night, people were really dancing, like really, really into it. Um, but there was quite a lot of room in there, so we probably need some more people, to be honest. Um, and also the decks were at ground level, and I always find when the decks aren't raised at all, unless you're in the front row, it can be quite hard to get the vibe, but it was, it was fun. Play two till four. Um, yeah, actually two till 4.30, played some pretty big tunes. People seemed to dig it. And then yeah, got some sleep in. And today, I'm much better than I was yesterday, fucking hell. I didn't really drink last night, like a beer and a shot. So we're just gonna chill now, get some food, and the flight home is tonight. So US tour one, complete, back again in August for New York, Denver, I think, and somewhere else somewhere else, I can't remember the other one. But yeah, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. I feel like I've been away for ages. Well, I've been away for nearly a week. Time to get back to it. Next weekend is Marbella, you and me, and then Monaco. Week after that is Milton Keynes and Fuse Festival. Week after that is Park Life. It's heating up, so yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and see you all in the next video.